Hello, welcome again to Asteris on VPS.com. <clears throat> uh, in uh, this video, I, I just want to continue from where I left from the first video where I showed you how to make a simple call center uh, just using uh, queues. <clears throat> uh, now we are going to be using, on, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the call center module that comes with Elastix. The um, <clears throat> Elastix comes with a free call center module and a paid uh, for, uh, call center module which is called Call Center Pro, but we are going to concentrate on the free module. Okay. The first thing that we are going to do is we install the module. We install the module from the add-on market. Here it is. Install. Okay, there you are. <coughs> the module is installed. Center module. Okay. Right, we need to configure this call center module. We go to configuration. We uh, it needs to to be connected to asterisk. So I'll enter my asterisk username here. Password. And then confirm. Okay, start. Okay, now the uh, call center e module is running now. You can start it here or stop it from there, or you can start it from from uh, the dashboard here. Um, from here, you can. Okay, that's when you can. You can start it. You can stop it from here, or you can do it from call center module itself okay <clears throat> now we are connected to our um, uh, asterisk manager uh, so that configuration is done so just remember you put your asterisk username your password your password again um, this is normally if, if you if you have um, um, installed asterisk using uh, in information from asterisk on vps.com this is normally the password that you are asked to enter when you are installing your elastics okay <clears throat> and um, now we have our uh, we have connected our system we need to create users we need to create users for this call center module But before we create these users, we can create a group and give permissions to that group of, of, um, of users. Create a group call center, call center urgent, okay, save. Right. And then we go to permissions. Okay, we 
filter the group uh, go center here then you can show the these are the modules uh, that that you can allow them the users to see but what what we really want is for the users to see um, the agent console so we just want to allow them to see the agent console and nothing else so here we put that in save okay so the agent console is now available to all the core, the call center users <coughs> and we can now go and create the, these users and put them in that call center group uh, say this is um, agent a agent a password 300 just use a, a strong passwords agent a you can assign extensions seeing that i had already created extensions you can assign these extensions if you had not created extensions you don't need to you can then assign them after you have finished so this is call center agent one agent a Okay, I've just created two agents. It's fine. Let me just use those two two agents. Okay, uh, these are the agent users, right? And then <coughs> you go back to your call center module again. Right. We still have. We still have. Don't. We still do not have agents here on the on the call center. Um, okay, before we do, do that, let me uh, <coughs> go to forms. You can create a form. The forms usually help you to collect information from the uh, callers that are calling into the call centers so that you can have information on, on, in hand for, on, on them and you can collect that information and you can use that information for marketing purposes or for follow-up purposes so now i'm going to create a form here this form i'm going to just call it uh, customer information mission right Maybe date. You can date collected. You can put that one. So, uh, maybe service interest. Interest. And uh, we put a list here. Maybe your company is selling um, internet services, Wi-Fi, hosting, 
etc okay uh, let's just capture those for instance maybe you just want maybe somewhere to put notes general and a text area so that you can put notes when the customer is So I removed my date there. We have a form, just a basic form for collecting information. And if you you can create breaks, lunch breaks, tea breaks, or whatever you want here. I'm not going to create a break here, uh, but you can create breaks here. And when an agent takes that break, uh, uh, activates that break on his account, then he cannot be able to receive calls during that time. And agent options. <clears throat> now let's uh, add our agents we know we added ad agents uh, usernames but here we are ad adding agents numbers right these numbers are not at all related to your extension numbers you you can you you can use similar numbers to your extension numbers but uh, they are not related it's just they are not related it doesn't mean the agent number is an extension number yeah, okay so now I'm going to put 300 3,000 3, okay let me put 3,000 there and three. now let me put 300 and 300 is password maybe this is agent a Okay, 300, save, Three, zero, 1, Zero zero one three zero zero one seven. Let's take this as agent B. So both agent A and agent B are offline, as you can see. Now, um, okay. Um, if you go to agent console, you can now see the agents that we created, and you can see we can take any any extension here. Okay. Agent is created, and if we can try to um, to, to to test here, um, the agent must be logged in. And I have logged in with the Zoeta there, so um, uh, if, if I call that, I must be able to receive a call on that Zoeta. Then the agent is logging in. Okay, so you answer.
password followed by the hash key so that's three zero zero sorry let's try again see so now the, the agenda is successfully logged in so you can see uh, where, where, our, where I was talking about tea break tea breaks if, if, a, if, a, if a, um, a break had been created then a, an agent is able to take a break here see the forms are here Okay, let me go to back to the console. Okay. So now, once an agent has, has gone in like this, then an agent is able to to wait for calls and wait for calls. Okay. This done, let's go back to our queues. I'm going to terminate this. We are going to come back to this again. Hang up. Right. Um. Let's go back to the PBX. Remember last time we created a trunk, right? Uh, this time I'm not going to create a trunk, I'm just going to create an um, I'm not going to create an IVR, I'm just going to create a queue. Okay, remember last time we created a, a, a queue called uh, 2000. Company. Yeah. Okay. For static agents now, last time when we created the agent, we put uh, extensions we picked from here, but now we are not going to pick from there. We are going to put our agents who are a three zero zero uh, zero and a three zero one zero okay you need to put a for agent a for agent here yeah, this should be a comma and not a full stop okay all right so now we have our agents okay um, you can uh, I'd like to maybe select a color position so that it tells me you are color number so and so I'm not going to use an uh, an IVR there so I'm not intercepting it with an IVR the, it's going to come just from the um, inbound um, okay. inbound route Okay, inbound routes. I've got an inbound route here. And it was going to an extension. I'm going to make it go to a queue. And the queue is 2000 Company A. Right. Always apply your changes. Okay. So this number is called this number is called
it says it will be answered by the next available representative thank you for your patience but at the moment we don't have an agent an agent that is waiting for this call so the call is not going to 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 ring to any of the agents until an agent is logged in so now the agent is logging in So this agent is logged in now. So you see, this he, he now received the, the call. The call that was on the on the other side. Okay. Okay. I've disconnected it now. Let me just increase. Okay. Customer calls again. Agent logs in here, yeah. answers call, enters password followed by the pound key, which is the hash key. Then agent is logged in. So when the agent is logged in like this, uh, unfortunately my, my DID, something is wrong with it now. Or maybe I can just make a call to it. Maybe my credit is gone. But um, you you make a call to this to the DID, and then on this soft phone, the agent will receive the 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 call and can access all the forms and be able to 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 capture all the information. That is required. This one active. Yeah, this one active. So that's it. That's it on the call center. Um, uh, in the in the next video, I will try and show you how to capture the information and uh, the information that will have come. Once my DID starts working, yeah. Okay.